Today's presentation is about how to determine the code letter of an induction motor. If this is your first time to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more electrical engineering tutorial and also please like and share this video. For electrical practitioners, engineers, designers, maintenance and technicians, this presentation will give you the interest and enlightenment of the importance of knowing motors parameters such as the code letter which, in reality, is always disregarded. So, what is code letter of an induction motor? What is its significance? Where to use it? And why we need to know it? In this example, the code letter is given in the nameplate of a one horsepower induction motor. The code letter of this motor is letter K. So what does this mean? A letter code defines the locked rotor on per HP basis. Codes are defined by a series of letters from A to V generally, the farther the code letter from A, the higher the inrush current per horsepower. A replacement motor with a higher code may require different upstream electrical equipment, such as motor starters. Now, what if you have a project that require proper sizing of motor controller and protection and in such case, the delivered motor do not have the code letter indicated in the nameplate. You badly need it but how will you determine the data? So, how to determine the code letter of an induction motor? Here's a very useful formula. Locked rotor vapor horsepower equals Kvenrush divided by HP. Where, Kvenrush is the motor in rush Kven HP is the motor nameplate horsepower rating. Another useful formula for the calculation and determination of the motor code letter is as follows. Inrush V is equals to the square root of 3 multiplied by the line to line voltage multiplied by the inrush current. The value of the inrush current is found in the manufacturer's test sheet. Now, let go with a sample calculation. With the given data we will determine the code letter of the given motor. 1500 kilowatts and 2010 horsepower are the motor nameplate power rating. Inrush current of 1031 amperes is obtained from manufacturer's test sheet. Full load current of the motor is 158.7 amperes. Rated voltage of 6600 volts or 6.6 .6 kilovolts. So, what is the code letter of this MV motor? Now that the needed data is given, we simply substitute the values in the formula we discussed. Applying the formula for calculating the motor in rush KVA that is square root of 3 multiplied by the line to line voltage of 6600 volts multiplied by the inrush current value of 1031 amperes will yield to 11,785,567.2 via Oregon 11785.57 KVA. So calculating the motor locked rotor KVA per HP, that is inrush KVA divided by the motor HP rating. Then 11,785.57 KVA divided by 2010 horsepower will yield to 5.8636 or 5.9. Now that the locked rotor KVA per HP is calculated, we will use this value to look into the table given by NEMA or National Electrical Manufacturer Association a standard for electric motors. In the table, you will notice that the locked rotor KVA per horsepower has minimum and maximum values with corresponding code letter. This values determine the minimum and maximum values of inrush current by multiplying this values to the full load current of the motor. In this example, the value of 5.9 is between the minimum and maximum values of 5.6 to 6.3 that corresponds to NEMA code letter G. So, the code letter of the given MV motor is letter G. Thank you for watching. There are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen. Those who watch things happen. And those who wonder what happened. If you want this presentation, please subscribe, like and share this video.